Hello, welcome back to part five of build a discount calculator. This is our final step in this badge. So we are going to distribute the flow with the custom button and then also add, just make sure that the, that the excuse me, the flow works. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, so let's see, I believe, first step that we're going to do is activate our flow. So we saved this. Let's go back. We have our flow. We're going to go onto the detail page of our flow. This is the detail page. Over here on the side, we're going to have activate. And the flow is now active. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to create a button. And for that button, we need the URL of the flow. So it's just this forward slash flow, forward slash calculate underscore discounts. Now that's a little complicated to remember, so we're going to copy that. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into automation. Um, now we're going to do process automation settings. And what we want to do is make sure that lightning flows, yes, this one, enable lightning runtime flows is checked and it is checked. So let's go ahead and save. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the opportunity object. So we go object manager opportunity going to go to buttons, links, and actions. We're going to create a new button. All right, so the label for this is going to be calculate discount. It's going to be a detail page button. Description. We're going to grab this actually from the detail or the instructions page. We're going to copy and paste. For behavior, we want it to display in the new window and it is a URL. So the first thing we're going to do is, oops, darn it. You know what? We need to go back and grab that URL. So let's see if we're going to go back to flows. Open the detail page. And again, we're going to copy that flow URL. We're going to paste it into that formula box. And then we're going to copy this little bit of code that they've provided for us and paste it right there. We're going to check the syntax. It says no syntax errors found. So let's go ahead and save it and click OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add it to the opportunity page layout, which is this one. I'm going to go to buttons and calculate discount. See, there's a little box where we've got our standard buttons and then our custom buttons. We're also going to do one more thing. We're going to move our discount percentage and our discount amount from the opportunity information down to the additional information. And then we're going to click save. All right, so you could just save it and then validate the steps on your trailhead, but let's go ahead and run through this so that we really understand what's happening. So let's go to the sales app. Go to opportunities. We're going to create a new opportunity. I'm going to call it edge. OK. 
communications one year contract. The close date will be one year from today. Today is September 29th, or September 9th, excuse me. Um, the amount let's go ahead and say it's five million and save. Oops, we need a stage. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. We're not gonna finish all of this, but I believe that it should work. And the additional things that you can do is change the account revenue and it should apply a discount. All right, there we go, we have a badge. Thank you for joining me for this last and final part of Build a Discount Calculator. Um, be sure and check out my channel, like and subscribe, and there will be more videos.